Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to get an ETC card here in Japan. I've seen this question pop up quite a bit on some of the Facebook pages here in Sasebo, so I thought I would go over the simple and easy steps on how to get one so that you can decide whether you want one or not. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. So what even is an ETC card? It's basically the equivalent of the American Easy Pass. So instead of having to stop at a toll gate and pay, you can just simply go through the ETC card lane. Normally, in order to get one, you need a Japanese bank account, but because we are here with the military, we don't have one of those. So instead, we use a company called Japan ETC Card. Before we go through the steps on how to get an ETC card, you need to ask yourself, is this in my budget? Unfortunately, the startup costs are pretty steep, and honestly, you don't need an ETC card to get around Japan. It's mostly for convenience, and while you will save a little bit of money on holidays and weekend discounts, I'm not really sure that those savings would equate to much. You definitely don't need an ETC card to get around Japan. With that being said, the deposit alone in order to get the card is 40,000 yen. That's right, that is equivalent to about $400. You will get that $400 back once you pay your final bill when you go to PCS. There is also a membership fee that is around $10 a month for all of the services that the company provides, but if you don't use your ETC card that month, then you don't have to pay for the services. We live in Hario, so we pretty much take the toll road every day. There is a non-toll way to get to main base, but honestly, after about a month of taking that, I was so over it and the toll road was much easier. Okay, at this point, you've decided you want this ETC card, you are all in. These are the steps in order to get one. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your car has an ETC card reader installed. If it doesn't, you can take it to a yellow jacket or an auto box and have one installed there. These usually range in price and I just got whatever was on sale at the time. I think they were doing a bundle, so it ended up being the cheapest in terms of buying the card reader, the installation fee, and the activation fee. If you do have an ETC card reader in your car already, you still need to go to a yellow jacket or an auto box and get it activated. This is around 25 bucks and you will need the documents later. Once you have your ETC card reader installed, you are ready for step two. Step two is going online to japanetccard.com and signing up. From there, you will sign a user agreement and then you will need to upload your vehicle title registration as well as the ETC setup document. Once these documents are verified, then you can provide your shipping address and that is where your ETC card will be mailed to you. If you live on base, chances are you're gonna have to go meet the mail truck outside the gates. So make sure that your phone number is up to date on all of your documents. The last step is to just insert your card into your reader, make sure that it beeps green and you are good to go explore Japan. You will be billed monthly and you can set up an auto pay with your credit card and you can cancel everything online when you go to PCS and get that $400 back. I hope this video helped answer any questions you might have about getting an ETC card here in Japan. Like I mentioned, you definitely don't need one, but it does make things a little bit easier, especially if you're living out here in Sasebo where there are toll roads everywhere. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I post new videos every Thursday. I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.